we're kind of in the process of building um, a new theater program at Brethren High School, <clears throat> and so um, we applied for a grant in order to get the materials. We we have we're dealing with a lot of makeshift stuff right now, lighting and things like that. And in the past, we were able to get uh, microphones and things like that. But what we really needed were um, the tools and supplies necessary to build a decent set. A, a, you know, because we've had to borrow tools and take them for. So we used this to. About half the grant went towards the tools, and the other half went to the materials. We were going to. We were doing Treasure Island uh, last fall, and we needed to build an 18th century uh, sailing ship set. And that's not. Um, that takes a lot of materials to do something like that. Uh, but we didn't want to just kind of do something. Uh, small that wasn't uh, we wanted something epic we wanted something that was going to really just catch everyone's attention inspire more kids to get into drama as well as get more people to come to our shows and we also wanted it to be something sustainable that would, we could break down and turn into another set later on all right so uh, so with the grant like I said half the um, half the funding went to the tools and the other half went to the materials um, as I said, we, we lack a lot of basic sound and lighting, and we've had to be very creative with our solutions. Uh, we've had to rely on others for tools and donations and materials, and ticket sales provide some money, but not quite enough. Um, and so our production of Treasure Island, uh, like I said, half of it went towards circular saw, jigsaw drills, squares, rulers, hammers, etc., and about $500 worth of wood. Construction involves students who had been trained in tool safety by the wood shop or the vocational school, um, and then painting was completed by middle school theater, my, my theater, middle school theater class. So it was a combination. It was entirely, uh, entirely student involved from from the ground up. Um, so this is just the beginning of the construction process. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, he also builds tiny houses too. Um, so this is the initial framework for the set. Um, once it was completed, it just kind of looked like that on the stage, and it starts going up from there, and uh, we built a deck there in the front. You see it starting to come up here at the front panel. You have the mast, the wheel, and there's a middle school kids painting it. More painting, a lot of painting. And then that was the final product. It's kind of hard to see from here. Um, it's pretty dramatic, though. It has a door here that you can go into to go below. Um, it has the stairs go up on the so on either side. It has cannons on the side. comes out all the way to the front of the, um, to the audience. Um, and then there's the cast on this. So we had a huge cast. We had like 20 students in the cast. So we had to fit them all on the ship, including the guy in the parrot costume here. Um, and it ended up being a resounding success. I mean, it was a great set uh, once we got it lit. And then, the, and once we got it lit and, and did our shows, it was just really wonderful. The audience loved it. And it was really heartbreaking to take it down. Uh, but in theater, we always have to move on to the next project. So believe it or not, it took two hours to get from this to that. Um, the whole thing comes down, we could break it down into these into these frames, and now it's being built for Little Shop of Horrors, which we're doing next Thursday. That's now uh, turned into a fire escape in the side of a building and a flower shop. So it's uh, suddenly, we, like I said, it took two hours to break it down, and we're now building it up in something else. So we'll be able to reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. So any questions? All right, thanks.